Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a new placeable blueprints with the building system. So that's uh, similar to the campfire or the furnace. So I'm just going to be using a tent today that I've got. Um, so we're going to start off by going blueprints, then we're going to go to the build parts folder, then the build part list. I'm just going to bring that here. Now we're going to create a new uh, build part by pressing the plus arrow here. I'm just going to name mine tent, and uh, I'm going to set the name to tent as well. Uh, type, we're going to go to uh, blueprint, then description, uh, we can just put whatever here. Um, I'll put something like um, shelter player. Um, health, uh, I'll give mine 150. Uh, whether or not it can take damage, so I'm going to tick that. Enable rotation if you want to enable rotation. Um, rotation increments is how, when you press R, how many degrees it will uh, rotate. So I'm going to do mine uh, 45. Um, upgrade build part. I don't have an upgraded build part, but basically, um, if you wanted your tent to be able to upgrade to like a better tent, you would create a second uh, tent build part then you would uh, set the values for that and then in here for your original tent uh, you would set a build part list and then you would choose your second upgraded tent um, but I'm not going to do that for this video uh, repair item is so if it's damaged and the player chooses to repair it what um, items it's going to cost to repair so I'm going to set mine to item list and uh, just for the sake of this video, I'll choose uh, wood. Oh, not stone finish. Wood. And uh, the amount I just put to one. Now, the way this works is for every 10% of the health missing, that's it will cost whatever you set here. So if I've got 50% of the tent's health missing, it will cost five wood to repair. Um, so we can just hide that repair item there. Uh, the blueprint class, we'll set that in a minute. Um, stack mesh, I'm going to set this to my tent stack mesh. Destructible mesh, um, I'll go ahead and show you how to make a destructible mesh quickly. So if we go back to our um, our tent uh, stack mesh, I'm just going to right click it and hit create destructible mesh. And you can see it's created a new uh, mesh here. We can open this up and in here we can just hit fracture mesh and then hit save. We can go back to our build part list. We can then set our tent in here. Uh, next, um, position offset. So if say your model's going into the ground a little bit when you try and place it, you can add some, some adjustments to it here. I typically would advise doing this in a 3D modeling program, but if for some reason you know it's by a tiny amount or something like that, um, you can adjust it in the position offset. Uh, build cost. Um, I'll come back and set that in a minute, but basically it's the cost of placing the um, object in the world for the player. Um, grid required. We're going to leave this unticked because this is placeable. Uh, placement angle, so this is the max and min um, placement angle. So if you're trying to place this on uh, terrain that's um, more than 45 degrees in either direction, um, it won't allow you to place it. So that's so you can't place it on like vertical walls and stuff like that. And then require name input, so if I tick that, when I place it, um, a little name uh, window will pop up and the player will have to give it a name before they can place it. Um, you can see this with the uh, bed blueprint by default, but I'm going to leave this disabled for uh, now. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, back to our blueprints folder, then items, then item list, and we're going to create a new row in here. And I'm going to name this ten. Uh, then we're going to set the name to ten. Again, description, shelter, area. we'll set the weight to 4. Um, category, we'll set it to a uh, building. Uh, that's important, so make sure you do set it as building. 
um, we can leave equipment slot as none, holdable will set as uh, none, um, holdable class none, attachment class none, and we can leave both of these as none. Um, droppable, I'm going to tick. Um, stackable, uh, we'll leave unticked and we'll set the max stack to 1. Um, all of these, you're going to want to set the use text to something like place or build, whatever you prefer. Uh, then we can scroll down, we don't need to set any of these. Icon, um, this is where you're going to want to set your icon. Um, I don't have a tent icon right now, so I'm just going to use the uh, E key symbol. Um, world mesh, um, I'm going to set mine to the bag. So this is when the item's dropped in the world, not placed. Um, don't need an equipment mesh. Uh, again, world um, mesh world offset, so if you're uh, your world mesh is sort of going into the ground or something, you can um, add a small offset here to stop it from doing that. Um, and then everything else I don't think we need to set. Sounds, you can set whatever sounds you want for the uh, item. I'm just going to leave these as, as blank for now. Um, and pick up time if you want it so the player has to hold down E uh, for a certain amount of time to pick up this item you can set that here and that's done in seconds so now we've created that we can just hit save then we're going to go back to our build part list and then in here we're going to go down to our building cost and we're going to open that up and hit item one we'll set the uh, data table to our item list and we'll set the um, row name to 10 and set it to one so that means that the cost for placing this down will be 110 from the player's inventory. So once we've done that, we can go into our um, back to our blueprints folder. Then I'm going to go into the build parts again, and we're going to create. Uh, so this depends on what sort of thing you're creating. Um, I'm probably going to give our ten a uh, inventory like the chest does. So for me, I'm going to choose the storage, master storage build part. If you don't have these um, these blueprints here, um, you're probably using an older version of the pack. Um, I would advise upgrading. Um, if not, you can uh, take a look at the wood chest as an example. Say you've already set up your project. Um, the wood chest will be a good example of how to um, add an inventory to your tent, for example. But if you're using a new version, um, you're going to right click the master storage um, build part, then hit create child blueprint class. And I'm just going to name mine um, uh, underscore 10 uh, build part. Uh, then we can open that up and in here we can go to the mesh and it's up to you uh, which one you do actually so if you want uh, the icon to show up in your content browser which can actually be helpful um, you can just select the mesh and then hit uh, stack mesh and add in your name it to what you want then we can set our stack mesh here to 10, like that. And we've got our 10 in our build part now. And with the non-overlap zone, we're going to just shape this so it roughly fits our 10. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, this is just to stop other build parts overlapping on it. So we'll just do something like that. And we can compile and save that. Uh, next we're going to set up our storage inventory component so we can select it in here and we'll have all of its options here so um, for the inventory slots by default it's five so say I want 10 um, max weight I'll set this to 100 um, starting items if you want to add any starting items you can click the plus here then you um, need the item ID which is, um, I'll just quickly go to the item list here, the item ID is the first name here on the row, 
Um, I'm not going to add any here, but that's how you add it. And all you have to do is put that name in there and the count. You don't need the index or the inventory. Um, and that's pretty much it for setting up the inventory component. So just once you've done that, compile and save it. Next, we're going to go back to our build part list. And with our tent selected, we're going to go to the blueprint class. And we're just going to select the tent uh, build part that we just created and set that in there. And we can save that. Then we're going to go to our blueprints, items, and we're going to create a child of the master item here. And I'm just going to rename it to EP10. Then we can open that up, go to selected item, choose our 10 item here, and keep it as set as uh, one. Compile and save that, and we can just drag that out into the world. So uh, one last thing. Um, we need to go back to our build part list um, and make sure that your tent is not set to uh, blueprint. Uh, that was my mistake. Make sure it's set to, uh, where is it? Decoration, there we go. That way it can be placed correctly. So make sure you save that. And now if we jump into our game, uh, we can go and pick up our item. And we can place it on our quick bar and we can rotate it. We can place it and you can see we've got our 10, 150 health. Um, now we just need to hook up our inventory. So if I press E on it, we're not getting anything uh, coming up. So we're just gonna go to back to our uh, temp build part and we're actually gonna open up one of our other build parts as well. So we can just do some uh, copying. So we'll go back to our blueprints, uh, then build parts and we'll use our uh, wood chest now uh, we can go to the event graph by pressing the event graph and there's a couple of events we're going to want so these client events we can just copy these go to our temp then event graph and we'll paste those in here and we're going to replace our wood chest here with our tent stack mesh like that and then we can go back to our wood chest again um, and we can do the same with this here and we'll paste that in here and we can open up our destroy event and we're just going to do this and replace the wood chest with tent again and uh, we'll just have a quick look that's all good so we can go back to our wood chest again and uh, we won't need this um, but we do need this, so we can copy this, go back to our tent, go to the event graph, paste that in. We can open up our interact events and we can have a quick look through and this all looks good. So um, in the class defaults here, we've got some settings, so we can go to the interact menu. Now by default, if the player uh, presses um, E on the uh, tent, no interact menu will open. Uh, you're going to leave this as none. Then for owner required interact, if, if you want it so the player has to have been the player that placed it, or is um, an owner of a plot pole that this tent is within, um, you can have this ticked, but if you want it so anyone can open the tent, you just untick that uh, variable there. Our build menu, we're going to leave this as the same, and again, you've got the owner required, so um, this is where you can upgrade, repair, or destroy uh, the build part. Um, if you've got a hammer and you um, hold Q down on the building. Interaction, these are our, um, our options for um, when the player's looking at it, so the interface of that. So we're gonna tick interactable and interact text, so which can leave this as interact, but you can change it to open or uh, whatever you want in there. Um, interact time is uh, how long the player has to hold E down on the tent to open it, and then this is the text that will show while you're doing that. Um, and you also need to tick that uh, tick box if you want that feature. Um, interact uh, sound, so the sound that will play while interacting. 
and then the name that will show up in the interface. So I'm just going to name this pen. Um, then we can just hit compile. And now everything should be set up so we can do a quick test. In place our tent down, we can see it says interact. We've got our tent name there. And if we press E, we've got our inventory. And if I quickly go grab a gun, we should be able to now do damage. And if I quickly go uh, pick up some wood and a hammer, we can repair the tent as well. So we can do hold Q and we've got our options. Now the upgrade option is greyed out because we didn't set an upgrade, but we can repair it. And there we go, we've repaired our tent. And we can also uh, destruct. And our uh, destruction mesh will kick in as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, give me an email. Um, thank you for watching.